My name is uh, Peter Scott Bowden. I've been working with WFP for about 25 years. Most of my work has involved disaster management and uh, I've been an emergency coordinator in a number of settings. I think that looking back, certainly to my earlier part of the career, um, World well, Food Programme has always been geared very much about planning. Uh, operational planning, contingency planning, planning for food safety nets and other aspects related to nutrition security. Assembling the assistance requires a massive effort to procure, deliver, organise safe distribution, make sure that communities have dignity in the receipt of that, that assistance. The most important counterpart is in fact the families, the communities and the people in which we're trying to bring assistance to, or rather for them to get assistance and them to be able to come forward and get the critical services that they, that they need. There's a long network of interlocutors in which you have to work with, both at the, the national level with government counterparts. Uh, frequently there are counterparts at the uh, provincial or district levels and along that journey, um, there are also many NGO partners, other humanitarian agencies. Increasingly, um, the commercial sector, or you can call it the private sector, who which we also work closely with to gain access to communities. Maybe if there is an intrastate conflict, that means there is uh, maybe conflict between peoples within a country we also have to work with non-state armed groups. We have to coordinate with them to make sure that we can deliver our assistance um, abiding by humanitarian principles which are very important to us in our work. We now have developed under the guidance and the agencies of the CCHN a framework to better analyse and prepare for negotiations. So that would be one of the big uh, challenges that I think that the CCHN has overcome because it gives you a framework in which to prepare for negotiations. The CCH manual is a, is a great manual. It's a manual that you can use uh, to uh, learn more about the Navasha grid and some of the tools behind the Navasha grid, learning tools and the very instructive uh, aspect to the manual is it gives you fairly straightforward case examples of which you can follow. The tools that you will find within the manual will actually assist in those negotiations of making sure you get that access or you enable access for uh, displaced populations or vulnerable populations to come forward and get assistance.